Turn that TV down a little bit, just a smidge. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making beef stew. Now, I used to eat this when I was little, right? But I feel like my grandma did never used to make it like how I'm about to make it. So, let's just get into it. Hey guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So you know, right What's here. your channel? JCR Thompson is right here. So. You want me to keep this in here? Okay, so we're gonna start with the beef. And all I'm gonna do is put a little salt on it. Y'all, I'm not gonna put nothing else on it right now. I'm just gonna get that in there like this. Kind of flip it over and just put some on the other side. Do y'all want me to have everything right here and show y'all all the ingredients and everything I'm using in the beginning of the video? Or y'all just want to see it like as I go? Let me know down in the comments. I'm trying to see if I should switch it up. So this is a chuck roast. It's just one roast. I just chopped it up like this. And that's it, y'all. Into chunks. It could be how big, how small you want. All right. I hope y'all can hear me. <clears throat> We're going to start by dropping some oil in here. We're going to wait till it get real hot. Okay. So we're going to make sure it's real hot. As y'all can see, it's starting to get hot. Okay, that oil is hot. So. I'm gonna get a nice sear on these. That's what we wanna see right here. Nice color. Okay, so now we're just gonna remove this meat, y'all. Look how good it looks. Oh, it's blurry. Can y'all see? Yeah, look how good it looks. Okay, so now we can add a little bit of oil if you need it, but I don't need none. I'm going to add these carrots. I'll just pop the shit out of them. And these onions. Yeah, I got these onions in here with my celery, and I don't want to put my celery in there yet. So I'm just trying to take some of the onions out. Because the... Uh, the celery is gonna cook way faster than these just carrots and onions. Oh, that meat look good. Could I have one? No, it's not cooked, boy. Okay. I'm cook this down a little bit. So we're gonna add two teaspoons of garlic. This is better than bouillon uh, beef. Hefty teaspoon of that. We got some tomato paste, about a teaspoon of that. Okay, y'all can use these beef cubes if you can't find the uh, paste that I just used for the beef, the bouillon. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with about a half a cup of flour. Y'all know what we're doing with this. We're just going to work this flour in until we work off that um, raw flour taste. Okay? Basically until you don't see no more white. So once we get it to this consistency, we're going to go ahead and add about, uh, about two to three cups of chicken broth. I'm sorry. This is beef broth. Hey. Beef broth. I'm looking right at it, calling it chicken broth. You know what? I'm gonna have. I'm gonna add this whole box. This is 32 ounces. So we got our heat down between medium and high right now. 
we're just gonna work this in y'all know until we get the clumps out we're gonna turn this up to high y'all we're gonna bring this to a boil start scraping the bottom and make sure we get up all that flavor okay y'all now we're gonna add about a cup of wine or a little bit more however you want y'all this is nothing but some five dollar wine do not get it twisted okay just some red wine wait a little bit more okay so now we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna add in our meat and our rosemary and stuff well we gotta let that alcohol cook off real quick okay so bring it to a boil okay now that we have it to a boil we're gonna add in some bay leaves and some rosemary y'all i thought i had some fresh thyme but i don't so i'm just gonna add some here okay then we're going to add our meat back in y'all all right, all that meat y'all this rosemary is strong as hell i can smell it it's so strong Y'all, this food already smells good. It ain't even damn halfway done cooking. Just getting started. So we're going to give this a good mix. Then we're going to put the lid on and let it simmer for about an hour or two hours. But I am going to come back and season it, y'all. almost forgot the Worcestershire W sauce. Did I say it right this time? Okay. And I also want to add a little bit of soy sauce, y'all. Just a little, okay? All right, so we're going to put the lid back on and let it finish. Okay, y'all, it's been about an hour and a half. We have this on simmer. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, that's hot. So what I want to do is take out my bay leaves, y'all. It's done doing that. And then I'm going to try to take out this rosemary as best way I can, seeing that it broke up. And if y'all have time as well, go ahead and try to get that out as well. All these leaves and stems. Okay. Once we're done doing that, we're going to go ahead and start seasoning, y'all. This is a little bit of seasoning salt, onion powder, garlic powder, a little cayenne pepper, and some red pepper flakes and black pepper. Okay. Okay, so we have our celery and we just got them finely cut. And we just gonna add it in. I got a little onion in there, but that's okay. I do have my potatoes, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour this water off real quick. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add these potatoes. Now, if after you add everything, if you need a little bit more liquid, you can go ahead and add some water or some more beef uh, broth, okay? Y'all, y'all should see how good this looks. Let me just, hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, y'all. Yup. Okay, so while we wait on this for the last 30 to 45 minutes, we're going to go ahead and get our rice together and our, um, I already got my, my dinner rolls prepped and ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to get this rice on, put the lid on and let it rock out. Make sure it's tender. All right. So let's check this meat and see how tender it is. Oh, okay. Guess I don't even need the fork. That's what y'all wanted to do. Just like that. Okay, now let's check these potatoes. Pork tender. This is done, y'all. So this is where y'all want to just taste it and season it and adjust the seasoning to your to your liking. And last but not least, y'all, y'all know I always gotta add a little parsley for flavor and color, okay? And of course, we got us some dinner rolls. Okay, y'all, this is how it came out. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget that 
the grocery list is in the description below let me know what y'all want to cook what y'all want to see what y'all want to learn hit that subscribe button